A veteran's home for Beltrami County continues to be stalled due to a lack of funding for its building and implementation. The proposed bonding bill from the governor did not include funding that could be allocated to the home, much to the dismay of the Beltrami County Task Force. Instead, as Mel Meyer reports, some are looking for ways to get around the budget shortfall. While the governor's bonding bill and a bill from Senate Republicans included $5 million for current veteran home preservation, there was no money allocated for any new homes. We need to take care of our veterans. We need to find those dollars, and if we're going to go put them in those situations, then at the end of the day, we need to make sure we take care of them. Ever since the Beltrami home was proposed in 2008, the holdup has always been the lack of funds. But Joe Vinny says that there has been one change. We have movement now and support that we've been mounting over the years. This includes support from representatives such as Matt Bliss and Matt Grossel, who phoned into the meeting from Capitol Hill. Bliss serves as the vice chair for the Veterans Affairs Division. Let's get the Fed to cover these dollars, representatives. Let's get the Fed to cover these dollars and get this home built. There may be one way to get around the budget. By raising some money by themselves, the veterans could build the home and then receive federal and state funds for filling the beds. There's disabilities attached with service-connected conditions. If it's 70 percent or more, the federal government's paying for it. The money could be a considerable sum for a building that would host 70 beds in a residential and assisted living care environment with access to therapy and other services. With an ever-aging veterans population in the area, Joe Vinny says there is a dire need to build the home. Our veterans in northern northwest Minnesota is, are located two, three, and four hours away from pre-existing facilities. The statistics and logistics speak for themselves. Tom Annenson says he sought out Veteran Affairs Services in 2002 for an injury. Now living in his late mother's trailer home, he says he may need the facility in the coming years. I, I'm not sure if I would be able to stay in a regular nursing home. Even with a budget, representatives for the task force say it would take three years to build and staff the home. In Bemidji, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. A group of veterans will be headed to the State House to talk to legislators about the budget issues in March. More information about the trip can be found on our website. That's lptv.org backslash news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.